Hello and welcome to the Bane Picks video for Northern Illinois at Western Michigan. I'm your host for Lance.com, Matthew Amato, joined here by Jacob Wayne. We got another great Wednesday matching game for you. And uh, another one-point spread over under a 50, so not expecting a ton of points in this one, Jacob. You named it the Backup Bowl. I like it. Uh, I would name it the Crappy Bowl because I don't want to watch this game and I'm upset that's even on TV. But we're covering every midweek game, so we're talking about it all, and I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Yeah, it's an interesting game. Um, I was mentioning to you the gap in returning production before we started this video, and Per Action Network, Northern Illinois ranked fourth in the country in returning production, whereas Western Michigan ranked 126th. But, I mean, that gap has just been completely mitigated by injuries for Northern Illinois. Uh, their top two quarterbacks, Rocky Lombardi and Ethan Hampton, it sounds like their seasons are probably over. Not sure if it's going to be Nevin Kremaskoli, I believe, or Justin Lynch under center for the Huskies in this game. But either way, we don't expect them to be very dynamic in the passing game, especially after star receiver Trayvon Rudolph got hurt for the year. Um, and then Western Michigan also has their technically their backup quarterback in, Trayson Bouget, although I, I think he's better than Jack Salopak. Um, Salopak threw five picks against Ohio, who doesn't have a very good defense, so... I mean, this, this is probably a positive for them, but their offense lost a ton from last year. Caleb Ellaby, Sky Moore, uh, five of their top six pass catchers, three offensive line starters. So you look at their O-line, and, and it's ranked outside the top 100 in basically everything on Football Outsiders, um, which is a, is a problem in most games, although this Northern Illinois defense hasn't been very good. So, you know, perhaps they can get a little bit more of a run game going this week, especially if Trayson can uh, pass the ball more effectively than Jack Salopak could. Um he did complete 59% of his passes, averaged 7.1 yards per attempt in his last start. So maybe some reasons for optimism. Um, and then I think if you look at the Northern Illinois side, they're going to be trying to run the ball as much as possible. Uh, but this Western Michigan defense has been pretty solid against the run. 79th in rushing EPA allowed. Really solid linebacker tandem in Zaire Barnes and Corbin Moment. Um, 32nd in stuff rate. So, or sorry, 40th in stuff rate. So I think Northern Illinois' run game will be super effective. Um Frankly, I don't think either offense is going to be very dynamic. So, if anything, the under would be the play for me here. I have a hard time picking a side in this game, but if you had to make a bet on this game, I think the under would be the same. Uh, and I think, Matt, you would say the same here. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think you stole basically every piece of analysis I could possibly give on this game. But I'm going to try it anyway. You have a Western Michigan team that's 61st in average line yards allowed against a Northern Illinois team that is 89th in average line yards. So I, I think Western Michigan, you brought up a lot of other stats to supplement this, has the advantage in the trenches when it comes to Northern Illinois rushing the football. When you're on your third string quarterback and you're not going to be running the football efficiently, it's just co so conducive to the under, especially for college football, because in college football where we really see the overs just explode is A, explosive plays, but B, the clock stops after first downs. If you're running the football, you're not having incomplete passes, and you're not getting first downs, that's how you get a shorter college football game. That's exactly what I see in this game is two teams that are going to be committed to the run because they should not have any trust in their quarterbacks. They're not going to be able to run super well. I mean, Northern Illinois, I don't love their defense. It's a little bit scary, but they're 44th in the nation EPA against the run. We've talked about in previous videos, like the Buffalo video, that's not the end-all, be-all of statistics, but... It's good enough for me to have confidence that Western Michigan is going to be averaging probably f less than four yards a carry in this game. When they do pass, it's not going to be efficient. This game, to me, screams being played out between the, the 30s and not many points going up on the board. I love the under. There's a lot of variance that can happen, so I'm, I'm not on either side. I even think the over-under is going to have some variance just because, again, you have third-string quarterbacks. It's the Mac. I mean, there's there's a lot of variables at play here. But I feel confident enough that this game could be really low-scoring. I probably also would love to throw a little two-team total teaser or a parlay on this once we get team totals out, like under 21 for each one of these teams or, or the team bands of 0 to 19 for both of them and get huge plus odds. Just, again, a small little bet I think might be some fun in this one, but that's the only place I'm willing to put any money. I'm not even going to try and touch analysis on who I think is going to win because, I don't know, it's whoever breaks off a 15-yard run maybe and gets in field goal range. Like, it could literally come down to that. 
Yeah, I, I tend to agree with you. The one thing I would say is I'm hopeful that uh, Tristan Bourget for Western Michigan, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing his name right, but I'm hopeful that he can have some success. He's looked okay in the last couple of games. Um, Northern Illinois ranks 130th in pass defense EPA. So this would be a game where he could start to break out potentially. Um, and as a result, if you had, if I had to pick a side here, it would be Western Michigan. Um, Kalamazoo, uh, the weather there looks pretty solid uh, overall. 66 degrees, not not a lot of wind, pretty much no rain tomorrow for this game. So, you know, that, that's, that's positive um, for potentially some passing here. I wish we were getting some weather because I would be more confident in the under as a play. Um, overall, this is probably just a stay away, though, for me. Yeah, sounds good to me. So, <laughs> each one of these Wednesday's videos got a little bit shorter and shorter. But we have an over-under of 15. We're both on the under. I think... Jacob leans Western Michigan. I, I can't even say I lean that side. I'm, I'm truly split on which team the back here, so I, I'm just on the under. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like this video, drop a like and comment down below who you're backing in this game. What bets are you placing? Hit the subscribe button to see more content like this. Check out the channel to see more matching games. Check out the website to see more great analysis by Jacob and to get legal state betting guys, promo codes, and all that good jazz. We will see you for the next one very soon.